so to get right into this haircut we're going to start off with our two guard lever all the way open and we're going to take down the sides or in other words debulk and what this is going to do is give us a nice clean canvas to go ahead and start off our fade now what you don't want to do with this two guard open is take it up too high because again all we're trying to do is clear off what's already going to be cut so you'll see i'm not going above the ridge at the top of his head Now I'm going with the grain to go ahead and smooth it out a little bit. Now we're going to come in lever closed on our clipper and we're going to start at the end of his eyebrow and slope it around the ear and give it just a slight drop in the back. And what this is going to do is allow the fade to fit his head shape a little better. And the reason I'm coming in closed instead of with the trimmer is because it's going to allow me to get rid of that first line a lot easier. And now right under that, we're gonna come in with our trimmer and we're gonna get it as close as possible to the skin because in this haircut, we are not going to use a shaver just because this is on a kid. And usually with kids, they tend to bump up with the shaver. So I wanna make sure that does not happen. So I'm just taking up this trimmer all the way to the line that we created. Getting every hair that we can, we can get with this trimmer. Now for the next step, we're going to come in lever all the way open on our clipper. And with this, we're going to go about a finger's width here, still maintaining that drop uh, shape that we created with our initial line. So I'm just going to go all the way throughout the head with the lever open. Same thing on the other side. Now to get rid of that line in, the, in between, I'm going to come in closed and then as we move up, I'll gradually go ahead and open up that lever until it's blended out. And yes, my clippers are zero gap. That's how I'm able to go from bald to open so easily. So right here, I'm just playing with the lever, trying to detail it. And now we're gonna follow that up with our one guard open. Again, going up about a finger's width. Really utilizing the flick out motion towards the top of that guideline because I don't want it to be too harsh. Now we're gonna close it to go ahead and lighten up that line in between. And it's not gonna get rid of it fully, it's just gonna lighten it up enough. But we are gonna follow it up with our half guard towards the end of the fade. Now the two guard open will be the biggest guard that we are going to use and that, yes we used it to debulk but with this we're trying to um, create shape so I'm going up just a little and then flaring out towards the top. And that should blend right into his curls. Now right under that two guard open we're going to come in with a one and a half guard lever open. And then you've seen right there, I closed it because I realized it wasn't doing much. And you can see with this hair texture, it's a little hard to fade just because it's really spacey and curly. Now to get rid of that last line, like I said, I'm going to come in with my half guard open. And then I'll gradually go ahead and close that as needed. And as we continue in our process, you can see the fade start to come together. Now we're just detailing as much as possible with this half guard and surely but slowly it is coming together or slowly but surely it's coming together. And now we're going to use some clipper over comb to go ahead and blend into the length on top. And I'm being sure not to take off too much because he doesn't want or his not him. His father doesn't want him to have I'm um, a flat top look. He kind of wants it to flare out a little bit. So I'm coming in with my comb, flaring out slightly, and then any hair sticking out, I went ahead and got rid of. Now for the lineup, I'm going to start in the middle and move towards his uh, left side here. And you can see his lineup is very light. So I'm being careful not to dig into the hair too much. 
Now I'm gonna move to his arch, starting at the top of the arch and then going to the bottom. And this should give us that nice round shape without digging into it too much. And now we're gonna line up his box. And then we're gonna move to the other side and do the same thing. So starting at the top of the arch and I'm going to the bottom and meeting those two points in the middle. And you can see originally it was so light that it didn't even look like there was any hairs to line up. But once you do line it up, it really defines and brings out um, his lineup. So now we're gonna move towards his right side going to his box area now we're detailing just a little more being very careful to not push it back but also keep it as natural as possible now because his lineup is so light we're going to use a little bit of enhancement just to go ahead and darken it up a little bit so i'm using my card and my airbrush and i'm just going to apply the enhancement lightly and you can see how it's really bringing out his lineup. Now I'm going back and detailing with my trimmer just a little bit. Now we're going to the other side and there is some weight along his lineup area that I went ahead and detailed with that two guard. Now we're gonna enhance this side as well. And it's not too much, just a little. Try to keep it as natural looking as possible. Now we're gonna come in with the razor and get rid of all those hairs that, that the trimmer couldn't quite get. And I'm stretching the skin in the opposite direction of which I'm using the razor. And you can see it's bringing everything together. Now we're going to apply a light hole gel into his curls. Just to give it a more finished polished look. But family this is the cut. I think little man likes it. Let me know what you think down in the comments. If you watch this video I appreciate you. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. And I will catch y'all next time.